Hey everyone, my name is Bilal and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create and set up a YouTube channel from start to finish. Let's get into it. First, here's how to create a YouTube channel. Head over to Google in the top right corner, click sign in, create an account, choose whether it's for personal use or a child or for work and business, fill out your first and last name and then click next, fill out your birthday and gender information and then click next. Out of these options, choose create your own Gmail address, put what you want your Gmail address to be, then click next. Here you will choose your password and click next. Go through any verification processes, which will most likely be a phone number verification. Once you're set up and signed in, head over to Google. In the top right corner, click the Google Apps icon and click on YouTube. Once you're on YouTube, in the top right corner, click on your profile icon. Click create a channel. Create a channel with a unique name, either your own or something relative to what your channel will be about. Note, this can always be changed later. Next, here's how to set up the YouTube channel. Go to the top right corner, click on your profile icon, click on YouTube Studio. On the left side panel, scroll down and click on customization. There are several steps here and the first thing you should do is upload a profile picture. Upload a picture of yourself if you're going to be the face of your channel. If not, upload a logo or relevant image that caters to who you are or what your channel is about. Here you can change your name, handle, and pronouns if you'd like. Next, fill out your description. This is where you tell your viewers who you are and what your channel is about and it will appear on your channel page. Don't overthink this, just provide a small blurb as to who you are and what viewers can expect from you. You can also add a language to translate your description. After that, add any links. This is where you insert any relevant links that cater to you and your business if you have one. For example, any social media links, link to a website, products, etc. Once you do that, you will add an email here so that people can contact you. Do not put the email you use to create your YouTube channel because if years down the line you get hacked and you have 100 plus videos, all of your hard work was for nothing. Last year, you have video watermark where you can add a graphic to your video in the bottom right corner. You can choose whether that's displayed at the end of the video, at a custom start time, or for the entire video. People generally use this feature for a logo or a subscribe graphic. After this, you want to head back to your YouTube studio, go down to where it says settings and you have some settings to change here. In the general tab, choose your applicable currency. In the channel tab, under basic info, choose your country of residence and add any relevant keywords to what your channel is going to be about. Only put relevant keywords either to what your channel is about or what you're going to talk about in your videos. Under advanced settings, set your audience, choose whether or not your videos will be made for kids Whichever option you choose, every time you upload a video to YouTube, that option will be chosen automatically. Everything else in this tab can remain the same. Under feature eligibility, go through these steps and ensure you complete them. This is important for verification and unlocking additional features for your channel. In the upload defaults tab, you can ignore this section when you first start off, but over time you may want to add titles, descriptions, tags, and settings that you find yourself using often to save you some time. In the permissions tab, you are set as the owner of the YouTube channel that you created by default, but you can change this if you want or allow someone else to have access to your channel. This is generally good for social media managers. In the community mod tab, this is where you set up moderators and personally moderate your channel by blocking terms, links, etc. This is good for when you're bigger or for when you want to avoid trolls. Then you have the agreements tab and you can now close the window. Finally, you're going to set up a banner. I chose this last because it's probably the most time consuming in the customization section of your YouTube studio dashboard. Don't overcomplicate it. Put a banner that expresses who you are and what your channel is about. And that's how you successfully create and set up a YouTube channel from start to finish. Now, if you want a detailed video on how to start a YouTube channel from the moment you create and set up your channel to the moment you upload your first video, check out this video here. Let me know if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.